Hello, this is Owen. Pat and I have been talking about how to better streamline these columns. Folks have asked us to keep these, keep these clean of all commentary. So this is the best thing that we can come up with. We're a couple of sharp guys. We talked about this for a few weeks and we says, hey, we'll just add a letter to the beginning. So right now, the way that you're, if you've got it set up in TweetDeck or in Tweetin, by the way, Tweetin's a great application. And uh, you can find it at tweetinapp.com, by the way. But right now, if you've got this set up with buying and selling, you'll notice that you get more than just the buys and the sells, right? Anytime Pat uses the word selling, anytime he uses the word buying, the tweet shows up. So we talked last night that we're going to make this change. He's going to make this change. When he's buying or selling, he's going to use an additional B or an additional S. So just change your matching words to two Bs for buying and two S's for selling. And you should see these two tests right now. As of this is the morning of February 13, 2020. Now, one additional thing he's going to do is he's going to put a filled price in. Currently, he just puts in the amount, but he's going to add the keyword filled to it. We've gotten questions about why doesn't he do it all in one post? Why doesn't he just say, hey, I'm buying Amazon. Here's the price I was filled at. Well, Pat doesn't believe in front running. His method is, is he comes to Twitter, puts out a post that says, I'm buying Amazon. Then he goes to the trading platform, routes his order, gets filled, comes back to, to Twitter, and puts a dollar amount in. And that, that would be the price that he's filled at. Well, that would typically show up in this in this column with all the commentary. So it kind of gets lost and you don't get an alert on it if you're, if you're segregating this out and you're just routing alerts to your device. So the way to do this is you add another column. Now, I'll tell you, I went, around, I went through different gyrations. I tried to do things like this um, and, uh, and it just doesn't work. There were different things that I looked at to uh, that people said worked online and I couldn't get any combination to work. So I can only get one keyword to work in here. So my solution is simple. <laughs> and all you do is you add another user. We're going to add another column for mission winners. Add the column. And then I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to drag it over here. Right there so it's in frame. And we're going to make a modification to this new column, tweet content, enter the words, filled. Hit the enter key, and you'll see the test will come up. And again, if you want to have notifications, now I got to tell you, and I'm on this particular computer, I'm still running Windows 7. Yes, I know, I'm antiquated. Um, but you can enable sound and desktop notifications. I don't know if they work in 10. I'm not running this in 10 just yet. But on my Windows 7 platform running this in Chrome, the notifications quit working some time ago. So hopefully they'll, they'll, get, uh, they'll get fixed. But I've gone through a number of different gyrations in an effort to, to get them to resume. And uh, it's all been for naught. So I haven't, uh, haven't got those working yet. But if somebody knows that they're working on 10, let me know. Because it would be interesting to know. Um, I believe that's it. I think that's it. All you, those are just the three things. Just keep in mind that your filled is going to show up. This filled column is going to populate whether he's bought or sold. So just, just keep that in mind. That, and uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Hope that helps.